What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coinbuster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $5 million buy-in and they gave us 1,000 quarters to get started today. So it's a pretty expensive game but luckily they gave us quite a bit of quarters. So uh, I wish me good luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with millions of dollars in profit today. Now they got it loaded up super, super good today. There's no quarter towers. However, they got a, a ginormous like, pyramid in there. It's probably the world's biggest pyramid of chips. Uh, those chips right here in the center, all those are $10,000 chips. The orange ones and the pinkish purple chips, those are 5,000 chips. Oh, nice. Well, the top of the tower just fell backwards a little bit. Did you see that? Oh yeah, nice, there we go, it's slowly going. Yeah, that's going to be a massive avalanche whenever we get that thing to fall down. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think about this ginormous tower down there in the comment section. Yeah, whoever built this definitely did a good job, so. Yeah, hopefully we can get it to crash down here shortly. They also got uh, two golden towers on the pusher back there, I'd say. Both of those combined is... Probably close to 40 ounces of gold or more. Looks like there's about 20 ounces of gold on each one of them towers. Oh yeah, this ginormous uh, pyramid, it's pushing forward pretty quick. Oh nice, we're starting to get some uh, $5,000 chips. About to get that uh, stack of $10,000 chips right there also. Check that out. Oh yeah, the golden tower. Oh yeah, jackpot baby. Wow! Nice, there it goes. Let's get that loot sheet cleared out. Oh my gosh, check that out. There's a uh, sky blue mystery bag on the edge right there. Sweet. So yeah, uh, we'll open up that mystery bag right after we win it. Here in a few minutes or something. Oh my goodness, well a bunch of chips got stuck in the loot chute on the right. They're slowly trying to uh, fall down into the payout chute. So I apologize that I can't fit everything on the screen. This is literally like the best camera uh, placement that I possibly could have done. It's like you got to see the pusher back there. And you got to see the stuff all over the edge. So I apologize if that whole entire wall didn't fit on the screen. So yeah, that pretty much was the world's biggest pyramid of chips in there. I don't think I've ever seen a tower like that before. Well, not that massive anyway. Oh nice, there we go. Some of the 5,000 old chips fell uh, backwards over there on the left. Let's see, let's go for this gold tower now. This one back here on the pusher. Oh yeah. Nice, there it goes. Holy moly, this is doing so good today. Yeah, you're welcome to uh, leave a guess in the comments. And uh, let me know how much money you think I'm going to win today from a five million dollar buy-in. I know that's a crazy amount of money to spend on one of these, but I also know y'all enjoy watching the large buy-in videos. And plus, I could not pass up this game today. That ginormous uh, pyramid of chips in there, there was no way I was not gonna play that. And I know it seems like you all enjoy like the large uh, poker chip towers and the walls and all that good stuff, so. Yeah, there's no way I was passing up playing this game. So, I mean, to be completely 100% honest with you, I'd say we've probably broken even at this point. Because there was a ton of $10,000 chips on that wall. Mainly $10,000 chips. There's also quite a few uh, $5,000 chips. So, yeah, we've done super, super good so far. Can't wait to uh, count up all that money. I went ahead and grabbed some quarters out of the payout chute just to keep the game going. I'd like to get the majority of these chips cleared out and then, uh, let's see. We'll open up that sky blue mystery bag and see if there's any nice and valuable goodies in there. Hopefully there is. So yeah, if you've made it this far into the video, uh, be sure you comment the number eight down in the comments. I'm only gonna say that once just to make sure you're still watching and stuff. And uh, I wouldn't recommend anybody skip forward or fast forward through these videos because uh, you might miss out on a lot of valuable information that you might need to uh, understand this game all the way. 
as uh, I explain how the game works and stuff like that pretty much in every single video. I go over what the chips are for, what the chips are worth, all that good stuff. So you definitely don't want to miss out on all that. And uh, also, I'll give you updates about the channel. And uh, say if there's one day I'm not going to be able to post a video, I'll let you know and stuff. So you definitely want to listen to all that valuable information. So if you don't mind, just watch all the way through. These videos are typically anywhere from uh, 20 minutes long to an hour long. So, well, on average, they're probably about half an hour long. So, and uh, trust me, I do edit out a lot of the boring parts on these videos because sometimes I could be pushing for uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes at a time and not a single quarter would fall. So, I mean, I've been playing this game right here possibly around. Uh, Oh gosh, let's see what the camera says. Uh, 44 minutes and 6 seconds. So we've been playing a pretty good amount of time already. So, But yeah, I'd say probably... Oh goodness, at least 30 minutes of that. 20-30 minutes of that's going to be edited out. Because it uh, takes me a pretty good chunk of time to get that loot shoot cleared out and collect some quarters. All that stuff, so... But yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely edit that out. I don't want to get anyone bored with these videos and stuff. I try my best to make these videos super, super entertaining. And you all have really, really been enjoying the videos lately from what I'm seeing. Yeah, the views on the videos are going way back up there where they used to be. And I appreciate that. I truly do. So uh, anyway, uh, that right there was the last of our quarters. There's still like 20 grand right here on the left. But uh, we're going to leave that in there for now. So anyhow, let's go see what we've won so far. And uh, we'll go ahead and check out that mystery bag. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Alrighty, I'm back. So let's go ahead and check out this uh, sky blue mystery bag right here. See if there's any nice and valuable goodies in there. Yeah, there could potentially be some special chips in here that might could benefit us later on. So we'll see. Oh my gosh, wow, check this out. We got three of the $1 chips and a $5 chip. So uh, this $5 chip right here, we'll get to cash that in. They'll put all that stuff that is on the blue shelves into the playing field. And uh, each one of these $1 chips is worth 500 free quarters. So this is 1,500 free quarters right here. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. So I think we should go ahead and turn all four of these chips in. And uh, we'll get right back to work. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $5 chip. And all three of them $1 chips, they gave me 1,500 extra quarters. And uh, they took all that stuff that was on the blue shelves. They put it all back into the playing field. Now, the two Mr. Bags, those are back there on the pusher. So, hopefully we can win those out of there. And they got the $25,000 chip towers back there on the pusher also. Yeah, all those brown chips right there, those are all uh, $25,000 chips. So, uh, yeah, those add up incredibly quick. Yeah, it only takes four of those to make a hundred grand, so... I mean, yeah, I'd say there's at least like three or four or five million dollars just in uh, $25,000 chips back there on the pusher, so... That is an insane amount of money for sure. Oh my goodness, wow, nice, there we go. Wow, that was a huge push right there, baby made an absolute fortune right there oh my goodness the mystery bags hanging on by a string oh nice there we go sweet we got it let's get it out of the loot chute real quick yeah if that loot chute gets too full see if you don't know this there's actually this little uh, opening space right up above the payout chute and say it gets too full with chips gold quarters and whatnot uh, there's a high chance money will fall like down that opening area and it would actually go to the owner it would go to the exact same location as the uh, side slots on the left and the right you can't see the side slots right now because some of the towers and stuff are blocking the view but uh, if you've watched the channel before if you've seen like any coin pressures for that matter you should know what I'm talking about it's those little uh, holes on the sides and uh, anything that goes down through there goes to the house. I don't get to uh, win or keep any of that. However, 
Uh, sometimes we get super, super lucky and we'll get like a uh, $50 chip. And we get to turn in that $50 chip. And they put everything that's falling down in them side slots back into the play field. And give us a, a second chance of winning us. So, I mean, there is a chance we've won that today in one of them Mr. Bags. We'll check out the Mr. Bags here shortly. But uh, anyway, I think there was four of the white dice on top of these uh, towers. The one on the right's missing, so I really, really hope it's down there in the payout chute. I'll check here in just a minute. But uh, let's get that loot chute cleared out, though. Nice, there we go. We got the tower on the right. That was a whole entire boatload of $10,000 chips. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's the story of my life. Uh, that loot chute's always overflowing and getting piled up. I mean, honestly, that's... You couldn't have a better problem than that because it's just like... Money just running out of there. It's honestly the, a good problem to have, so... Yeah, I'm not complaining whatsoever about that. I'd much rather have the loot chute like super super piled up and not piled up at all because the more piled up it is the more money we're going to win so anyway let's see should we put a whole bunch of quarters in there uh, using that skill stop button i feel like that's a pretty good idea at the moment so uh, anyway those white dice that are on top of those towers if we can somehow win those out of there uh, we'll get to roll those at the very end of this game right here and uh, whatever they land on, our uh, winnings will have to fly by those numbers. So, for example, uh, after I've done, cleared everything out of there, or I've decided to quit playing, I just have to uh, call them back here, and they put all them dice that we've won at the end of the game on the pusher back there, and we have to roll them on down to the uh, lower shelf right here. Whatever numbers are facing upwards, that's going to be our uh, multipliers for this game, so... Yeah, we definitely have the potential to make hundreds upon hundreds of millions off of this game today. Yeah, we've definitely, like, won way more than $5 million back at this point. So we've already made a huge profit, but those dice is what's going to bring us in hundreds of millions, potentially. So, anyhow, let's keep on stacking this thing up with quarters. Keep a large base of quarters filled up behind these ginormous towers. And uh, if we don't get these two $5,000 chip towers, I'll go ahead and open up the two Mr. Bags. We'll open them up together on camera. And uh, we'll see if there's any nice and valuable prizes in there. So how does that sound? So anyway, I hope y'all are doing well and having a magnificent day today. Hope the weather's pretty good where y'all are at. Yeah, like I've been saying, if we could just make it through the first couple months of the year, like uh, January, February, usually around like the middle of March, toward the end of March, that's when it starts warming up a little bit. So yeah, we're almost there, just uh, bear with the cold weather for a little bit, and then uh, before you know it, you'll be wishing the cold weather was here. That's how I always was, like... Uh, once it would turn uh, hot outside or warm, whatever, I would always wish it would cool off a little bit and turn a little bit colder. Then once it got cold again, I'd want the hot weather back. So, yeah, I've just tried to enjoy every single season without wishing time would go by too fast. Just try to enjoy every day, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't control the weather, you can't control the seasons. Well, unless you move across the world to a warmer place, but uh, I don't think I'd do that. I like where I'm at right now. Yeah, I just try to enjoy every day for what it is. Oh yeah, well both of these poker chip towers with the dice on them are moving forward. So I think while we got a large base of quarters already built up in there, let's continue to add to it. Let's pile up probably about uh, at least two or three hundred more quarters right here. Try some on the left and the right. Just trying to balance it out, push evenly across the whole field. Try to get both of these towers to get moving. Let's see what that push right there does. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about opening up those... Uh, Mr. Bags that we had won. They seemed like they were loaded up decently well. What do y'all think? Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a ton of chips and gold down there in the uh, payout chute. And also that box that I have sitting down there. Yeah, there's this uh, big old box I have sitting underneath of the, uh, what do you call it, the payout chute. And it catches everything that falls out of there because, believe me, that loot chute is not big enough to uh, hold all the stuff that falls over the edge right here. It has to fall out somewhere. Yeah, and if I didn't have that box sitting there, who knows where all those chips would go. Because uh, there's also tons of other machines at this location. There's like, uh, I think, nine other slot machines. And uh, they got a couple of vending machines here, like candy and chip spinning machines. And uh, soda pop machines and all that stuff like that. So uh, the odds of like something flying up and under one of those machines is pretty high. Especially if it like rolls across the room, like say if a chip rolls across the room. Then we're out like five, ten grand or so. Oh yeah, this tower on the left, it's about to go. We're about to get that white dice that's on top of it also. Yeah, those dice are super, super valuable. I can't express that enough. Oh nice, there we go. We got the one on the left, jackpot baby. Oh yeah, it's doing brilliantly well so far. Yeah, if this right here is the last round, then it might be a pretty short video today. I'm hoping there's some more uh, special tips inside of the Mr. Bags. You can't always count on that, but uh, there's always a chance. It might be like a $10 chip, $5,000 slash $10,000 chip, or a, a $50 chip. Like I said, the $50 chip, that gets us a, a second chance of winning the stuff that has uh, fallen down in them gutters. And uh, let's see, the $10 chip, that would be worth one or more free bonus powers. Now, they'd let me uh, turn that in, then I'd get to spin a wheel. And uh, that wheel has a bunch of different types of chip bays on there, like five, ten, twenty-five thousand dollar chips, one thousand dollar chips, and I think gold bars is an option also. Yeah. So uh, whatever that wheel lands on, that's what type of brand new tower or towers they'll build in the playfield. So it'll technically be like a couple free uh, bonus towers. And uh, let's see, and that five thousand slash ten thousand chip that would be worth. Uh, Again, one or more free towers, except they're made out of five and ten thousand dollar chips. So uh, let's see, we're almost out of quarters. We're about through this basket up here. So uh, let's just rapid fire all those quarters in there and see what happens. Try to play more for the right side. All right, let's see what all that does. Come on, we need a good push. Oh, nice. Well, it moved the tower on the right oh, just a tiny bit. So anyhow, let's go ahead and check out the two Mr. Bags. How does that sound? Alrighty, I'm back. So here's both of those Mr. Bags. Let's go ahead and open up the one over here on the left. And let's check it out, see if there's any nice and valuable prizes in there. And then, now, this one feels super, super heavy. So uh, let's check this thing out and see what we got. Oh my goodness, wow. Nice. Check this out. There was a whole bunch of white dice in there. Let's uh, get these gold bars out of the way first. So yeah, check this out. We got two more ounces of gold. I'll take it. And uh, we also got, uh, looks like 30 grand in chips. Yeah, two $10,000 chips and two $5,000 chips. That's 30 grand. And check this out. We got uh, six of the white dice. That is absolutely amazing. So that means we have won nine of the white dice so far and there's still one more on top of that tower. So I guess we have the potential to win a 10 of the white dice in total today. That is absolutely outrageous. So now let's move on to the second Mr. Bag right here. Now this one feels like it's loaded up a little bit better. Now I'm counting on this one to have another special chip in there or else this is going to be a very, very short video. So let's see what we got. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got the Mr. Money keychain. So this could be worth a dollar all the way up to a billion dollars. So this is super, super exciting right here. We also got a four of the golden dice, so those will multiply our gold by whatever they land on. That is absolutely marvelous. And we got uh, two more one dollar chips, so that's another thousand quarters. And uh, is this the five thousand slash ten thousand chip? Indeed it is. Check this out. So like I was saying, this will get us one or more free towers made out of five and ten thousand dollar chips. 
Wow, that is absolutely incredible right there. I thought for sure this was going to be the very end of the game. So anyhow, it's not bad, not bad at all. Both of them Mr. Bags were stacked up really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and cash in all three of these chips right here. And I'll also ask them what that keychain is worth. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in them two $1 chips. And that uh, 5,000 slash 10,000 chip, they gave me a 1,000 extra quarters. And uh, they built, looks like, uh, four more towers into the play field. There's one gigantic tower made out of $5,000 chips uh, back there on the pusher. And there's uh, three humongously tall towers of $10,000 chips. Well, I guess that one's kind of short right there. And uh, they took the uh, gold bars that we'd lost to the blue shelf, and they put those on top of that tower. Yeah, I think we'd lost those two gold bars, like, on the right side, if I'm not mistaken. Welcome to go back and uh, fast forward, and I'll find out for myself later on whenever I am uh, editing this video. And anyway, they got it loaded up super good. Nice, there we go. We got one of them towers to go already. And uh, that tower with the dice on it, it's still in the exact same spot. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we don't, hopefully we can get it to go. What I was going to say, hopefully we don't lose that dice. Hopefully the tower don't, like, fall to the side or nothing. That wouldn't be good. Oh, yeah, jackpot, baby. Nice. Wow. Wow, we got that humongous tower of $5,000 tips to go. So, uh, anyway, if this is your first time watching my channel and uh, you're enjoying this super, super awesome video right here and you want to see more like this, every day seven days a week be sure you're subscribed to the channel uh hit that like button and turn on the bell icon that way you get notified for whenever i post a brand new video it would help out tremendously uh, we are on the road to 200,000 subscribers and uh, my goal is to get there by the end of this year actually so i just need everybody that's watching this video to uh hit that subscribe button if you haven't already it's totally up to you it's not going to cost you any money or anything like that. I mean, in reality, it's just going to uh, help you keep up with the future videos. And I'll tell you why. Because once you hit that subscribe button, there should be like a uh, bell icon right next to it. And uh, if you enable that bell icon, like I said, uh, you'll get a pop-up on whatever device you're watching my videos on whenever I post a brand new video. And I post videos every single day, seven days a week, 30, 31 days out of the month, and 365 videos a year, every single day, uh, technically. So if you wanna see videos like this, be sure you're subscribed to the channel. Nice, there we go. A bunch of y'all must've hit that subscribe button. We got that tower on the right side to go, sweet. We got that dice that was on top of it as well. All right, so now we just need to push on the left here. Try to get this humongous tower to get moving. Let's go ahead and pile up the quarters. Super, super high back there on the pusher. Especially on the left-hand side. All right, there we go. So that was pretty much a whole entire basket of quarters I just dumped in there. Well, probably about uh, half of the basket more likely. So yeah, if you want some uh, pointers for getting started playing these coin pressures, uh, well, let's just start off saying you're playing one of these at a gas station or an arcade or a convenience store or whatnot. Uh, always put multiple quarters in there at a time. I would prefer putting about a uh, or I would suggest putting about uh, 2 or $3 in there at a time. And always use that uh, skill stop button. You want to stop it about right there when the pressure is coming out. Then just put like 2 or $3 in there. And uh, let the skill stop go. And you should more than likely get a push like that right there. And the more quarters you can knock off of that uh, ledge back there, the more you're going to get up here. But uh, if you're wondering how the owners of these machines make money, like on the gas station coin pressures and stuff like that. Any quarters that fall down through there goes to the owner. I've done pointed that out many, many times. But uh, in reality, the main way that they make money 
at these high limit coin pushers is when people do a, like a million dollar buy-in or something like that and they don't win nothing back at all from that million dollars then boom they got a million dollars in their pocket so yeah that's how the owners make money at the high limit ones but the odds are you're going to be playing like a uh, low risk or like a regular coin pressure I mean you might find one of these things but they're rare machines so I'm not allowed to give out the location of this one or else I won't be allowed to play here no more so but it's not at like a huge casino or anything like that so I know a lot of people said what casino are you playing at but I'm not playing in a casino it's technically like this small little game room gaming parlor I guess where there's uh, slot machines soda machines and stuff like that that's technically all it is here Oh yeah, well this tower is about to fall toward the right hand side, check that out. But uh, yeah, if you want my honest opinion, I wouldn't suggest ever getting started on the high limit machines. I would definitely stick to the low limit machines like the regular ones you'd see at a gas station or a flea market or something. But uh, it's totally up to you if you want to uh, risk lots of money, you're welcome to. But see, I've been playing these for many, many years, like three or four years now. And I started off with like $100 buy-ins. And I went to $500 buy-ins and just stuff like that. So, yeah, I didn't start off doing like million-dollar buy-ins or nothing like that. So, But, yeah, I've just worked my way up to the larger buy-ins over time. And I must say the larger buy-ins are much more exciting to play. But boy, oh boy, are they risky and expensive to play. Yeah, I've lost up to half a billion playing these machines before, so they're no joke. You could definitely lose a lot of money playing these. That's why I don't suggest anybody ever play this. Because uh, just imagine you worked for however many years and you made a million dollars. Then you did a uh, million dollar buy-in. They gave you one quarter for it with a one quarter challenge. Say you put that one quarter in there and didn't win nothing at all. That's like years of work for nothing. You get what I'm trying to say? So if you do decide to play these, uh, just don't expect to win hundreds of millions of dollars like I do. Because uh, I only post like the best video of the day. Like, you're not seeing the games where the towers are being stubborn or we're not winning anything back at all. And it's rare that I ever win hundreds of millions of dollars without losing more in the long run. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could uh, have been down like 250 million for the day and I might profit 100 million, but we're still down money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I have to spend lots of money to win hundreds of millions of dollars. That's why I don't think... Uh, many of you all would uh, be able to win those hundreds of millions. But uh, anyway, yeah, just start low. Start with the $500 buy-ins like I did. And just uh, work your way up and stuff. Yeah, well, this tower here on the left, it's being pretty stubborn right now. So uh, let's just pile up a whole bunch of quarters in there like we was doing a few minutes back. But yeah, we got super, super lucky with that 5,000 slash uh, 10,000 kit. Super, super glad that it was hidden inside that mystery bag. Yeah, I thought for sure it would be the end of the game, but uh, luckily we got super, super lucky and there was another special chip waiting on us. Now this tower's so close, I don't know how it hasn't like fallen backwards yet or anything. That's crazy. But yeah, uh, just a channel update about uh, the future of this channel and stuff. I'll still be doing a coin pressure video every single day. But uh, I thought about doing uh, like other types of content like uh, playing claw machines with cash in them. Yeah, the staff here and the owner and the manager, they've all talked about those uh, cash claw machines. Like they might get those here soon. So uh, let me know if you'd want to see content on that. 
So pretty much there might be like a buy-in with those claw machines and it might be filled with like cash or something like that. Oh, you know what else would be cool if they had like uh, Mr. Bags in there and you could pick up the Mr. Bags and they had like chips in there or something. That would be exceptional. So yeah, uh, let me know if you'd want to see that type of content in the future, like claw machine content and stuff like that. Yeah, the staff have been talking about getting those machines and stuff, so... I mean, there would still be a coin pusher video every single day consistently, but there might be like a day where I do two videos in one day, or maybe even three, who knows. I mean, it's really up to you all. If, let me know if you'd want to see that, because it would be super, super entertaining. So anyway, we got the whole entire machine cleared out today. This has been a marvelous game today, absolutely marvelous. I honestly can't believe we've done this good today. I was not expecting to win all that out of there that quick. So anyhow, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call them over here. I think we have won 14 dice in total. We got 10 of the white dice and uh, four of the golden dice. They'll put all 14 of them dice on the pusher. And we gotta roll them on out to this lower play field. Whatever they all land on, we're gonna get to multiply our winnings and our goal by those numbers. So uh, let's call them over here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So this right here is the most intense part of the game. We got to roll them dice on down to the lower shelf and whatever they land on, that determines how big of a profit we're going to make on this game. Oh my goodness, well we got a 2 and a 1 so far, so that 1 would not count unfortunately. That goes for any of the dice. If any of them land on 1s, just pretend they don't exist. Well, they're doing miraculous so far, except for the two ones. Oh, and anyway, I also asked them uh, what that uh, Mr. Money keychain was worth. You all are not going to believe it. They said it was worth three and a half million dollars today. I can't believe it was that much, considering the buy-in was five million dollars. So that's like uh, one and a half million away from breaking even just with that Mr. Money keychain. That is insane. So just so you know, the white dice will multiply uh, the value of that Mr. Money keychain and the chips. So anyway, that is not bad, not bad at all. Literally all them dice landed on some pretty good numbers except for like two or three of them. So anyhow, I'm gonna count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold ball that, and I'll let y'all know how much money we have made today from a $5 million buy-in. We'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've made today. This is absolutely miraculous. I ended up winning $20,025,000. That is the chips and that Mr. Money Keychain all put together. And uh, all the white dice totaled up to 31, so I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 31. And in total, I ended up winning 620 million seven hundred and seventy five thousand dollars from a five million dollar buy-in holy smokes that is a gigantic win today oh my gosh that is just fabulous right there i was not expecting a win like that at all that is a humongous life-changing jackpot win indeed absolutely mind-blowing right there and moving on we won 60 ounces of gold and uh, the gold dice totaled up to 11, so I'm going to get to multiply the gold by 11. And in total, I ended up winning 660 ounces of gold today. And the spot price of gold is like 2,020 an ounce right now, I'm pretty sure. So uh, that means we got an extra $1,333,200 in gold. That is absolutely excellent right there. That's a massive win for the gold. And uh, last but not least, we ended up winning, I believe it was uh, 4,137 quarters. So let's divide that by 4 to get the dollar amount. And that means we got $1,034.25 in quarters. That is absolutely fantabulous right there. So uh, anyhow, that is not bad, not bad at all for a $5 million buy-in. So anyhow, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Uh, be sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I post a brand new video. And uh, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. And if you want to check out my previous video, yesterday's video, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen. And if you want to check out one of Coinbrushers videos, you can click that button at the top left of the screen there. And uh, lastly, if you want to subscribe to my channel and visit my channel, check out some of my other videos, you can click that button at the top right of the screen. So with all that being said, I'll catch you all on the next video. Y'all take care and have a super, super nice day.